next step is when we're looking at long multiplication. So here we've got 58 multiplied by 24. Again, we start by partitioning. So we've got 50 and 8 and 20 and 4. Now what we do, we multiply together the two numbers either side of a box. So 20 multiplied by 50 equals 1000. 20 multiplied by 8, 2 times 8 is 16, multiply by 10, 160. Then we do 50 multiplied by 4, 4 times 5 is 20, multiply by 10 is 200, 4 times 8 is 32. This method relies upon the children being able to multiply by 10. Once we've got the answers in each of the boxes, we then add up the total along each row. So we've got 1160, and then we've got 200 plus 32 is 232. Again, the children need to be careful here how they set this out to make sure that the digits are underneath each other. We do 0 plus 2 is 2, 6 plus 3 is 9, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then we've got our 1000. So 58 times 24 equals 1,392. One of the areas that the children get wrong is 20 multiplied by 50. They sometimes miss a zero off. If this is happening, one way to show the children how to do this is to partition your numbers even more. If you refer to the box in the top right hand corner, you'll see we've turned 50 into 5 times 10 and 20 into 2 times 10. We then times out each part of the bracket. So we start by doing 5 multiplied by 2, which is 10. We then have the answer, which is 10, multiplied by 10. And the fourth part of the bracket, we've got our answer, which was 100, multiplied by the last 10, which equals 1,000. Doing this way, make sure that the children have the correct number of zeros.